Arts in Depth, a one-half-hour televised program presented to you by the Cultural Council of Indian River County. I'm Barbara Hoffman, the Executive Director of the Cultural Council and your host for Arts in Depth. Pelican Island Audubon Society, also known as PIOS, is considered the voice of conservation in Indian River County. Its mission is to preserve and protect the animals, the plants, and the natural communities in Indian River County through advocacy, education, and public awareness. My guest today is Dr. Richard Baker, president of the Pelican Island Audubon Society. Thank you very much for inviting me. I appreciate oh, being welcome, here. Welcome, welcome. We're happy to have you. Pelican Island Audubon Society, which celebrated its 50th anniversary last year, has an amazing history of accomplishments. Please share with us its history and highlights of the last 51 years and its significant role in the community. I'm happy to do that because uh, we have a, a, a great record. Uh, concerned scientists, uh, citizens in, uh, and scientists, and uh, Orange Grove uh, folks, uh, uh, teachers, uh, were concerned back in 1961 of a couple of developers that were coming in to develop east of mm -hmm. the wildlife refuge. Uh, and so they thought this is not a good idea for the, the refuge if we have a bunch of condominiums over there. So they got together and formed the Indian River County Preservation League Society, I guess it was, and uh, we're actually able to stop the development. But it took about four years, and then finally the state of Florida bought the, the land, and uh, and then eventually leased it or turned it over to the federal government. So, what you see now is Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge was expanded at that time. So they finished their work in 1964. And they decided that uh, they would like to then form a, a chapter of Audubon. Mm -hmm. So we became the, one of the chapters in National Audubon, which is composed of about 500 different chapters mm -hmm. in, uh, throughout the United States. Uh, we were uh, fortunate to have done quite a bit of things. Uh, we st not many people realize it, but we started the first coastal cleanup uh, back in 1986, and we actually got an award from the uh, Interior Department for doing that. Now it's, mm -hmm. it's gone international, and there's 90-some all over the world that are, are co doing coastal uh, cleanup. Uh, we were responsible for some of the ni uh, nighttime beach lighting ordinances, so, this, so to keep uh, the, uh -huh. the turtles from going into the, the land instead of going out to the ocean. Uh, we not many people realize it either, but we were the start. We started the Environmental Learning Center, and it was a, a dream of Maggie Bowman, who was president of of the Pelican Island Audubon Society at the time. And so, uh, we started that. Um, I think one of the accomplishments we did was being uh, one of the charter members on the LAC, the Land Acquisition Advisory mm -hmm. Committee, where we um, were able to. Uh, get two bond issues passed and bought a lot of conservation lands in Indian River County. Uh, we actually partnered with the Pelican Island Elementary School and saved 18 uh, acres of scrub jay habitat around the Pelican Island Elementary School and now there's a park around there uh, that uh, is uh, preserved for them. Uh, we were actually responsible for getting tree ordinances uh, landscape ordinances. We wrote mm -hmm. these ordinances and got them passed. Uh, we, originally we had some of the poorest tree ordinances in, in the state. Now we have one of the strongest. Uh, we were pretty much instrumental in getting the fertilizer ordinance passed too. Well I'll tell you when I have things to take before the city and the county I'm going to call on you to help me. We'll be back <laughs> in a few moments with Dr. Richard Baker. Thank you. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare Supplement Insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare Supplement Insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare Supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. We can also help you find the right Medicare Supplement policy from the best insurance companies around. So if you or someone you know is about to turn 65 years or older, call Nation's Helpline today. Don't spend more than you have to on Medicare Supplement Insurance. 
Call Nation's Helpline today and find out how easy it is to protect the ones you love. Even if you already have Medicare, this is a program for you. The call and quote is free and there are no obligations. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. That is 800-632-2804. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. I'm back with Dr. Richard Baker, president of the Audubon, of the Pelican Island Audubon Society. We were going on this with the, with the history and the highlights. There are so many more. Please, please continue this conversation. Well, one of the things we did just a few years ago was put out a pamphlet, and we did this in collaboration with the, uh, uh, the in, uh, Sebastian Inlet State Park. Many of the pelicans were getting caught on fish hooks up there. Mm -hmm. And so we put together, we've put together a, a pamphlet uh, showing fishermen how to uh, grab a hold of the pelican and remove the hook. Because m in the many uh, uh, fishermen uh, just cut the line and then of course that dooms uh. the, the bird mm -hmm. and then the line gets tangled up and you get anhingas and other birds uh, getting caught in it. So this has saved a lot of birds and it's gotten, uh, it, other uh, organizations have found, so about 20 different organizations are now, in the, on the, especially on the west coast of Florida, are, are utilizing this pamphlet. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, and then of course, uh, I think we, uh, we did stop the dredge and fill project at the Oslo. We at least deferred it for uh, a few years. Uh, Tell us a little bit more about, about that, that because that's, that's been in the news a lot. Yes, uh, well, actually the, the whole Orca, the Oslo Riverfront Conservation Area has uh, been uh, uh, something that the University of Florida, uh, the Florida Medical Entomology Lab and Audubon have been working on. It was originally going to be condominiums there, and uh, so the first uh, 300 acres was, was scheduled to be a uh, condominium, and we uh, protested, that they, had, they needed a planning and zoning change, and we protested about that, and we were successful in getting, in not allowing him to get a, the developer a, a, a change in the, the land use. And eventually the county commission said, no, we need to preserve that, and they bought the first 300 acres. Now it's expanded into a 440-acre area, and our new building is next to it. Um, and then r more recently, uh, people, it's, it's, it has the best seagrasses in, in the whole county. Mm -hmm. And it's also the, the, the most important area for uh, nurseries for our four sport fishermen, snook, uh, spotted sea trout, uh, and other species. Uh, but the county, at, and some people in the county would want them to put a big parking lot down there and dredge out to the intercoastal waterway to uh, to uh, allow bigger boats in there, and we wanted to keep it kind of to uh, John boats why and small is the, Why is the seagrass so important? Do you hear that well, that's, all the time? Oh, it's uh, the beginning of the food chain, uh, okay. all the animals around it, and it's important for fish. Uh, that's where they, uh, the, is where the, a lot of the spawning occurs for the okay. fish, for the area, mm -hmm. and also the nursery area. So the fish start out really little, small, little inch <laughs> things, and eventually they grow up to be big fish. Okay. And so, one of the other things that we're kind of currently doing that I am proud about this summer, we did a summer adventure camp with uh, Christian and Mike Beck. Oh. We had a five uh, weeks, of, uh, five sessions a week each, and uh, we su we bought uh, eleven kayaks, and the kids were going out into the lagoon, learning to uh, paddle around and enjoy uh, the lagoon. And uh, Christian Beck mm -hmm. has the outdoor. Yes. Uh, outdoor camp, adventure camp, and so we actually provided scholarships for I think 38 kids uh, for, to, for them to attend the camp, and these were students in the Title I schools that we have in our county. Well, that is really, really great. Um, when we come back after a short break, we're going to uh, learn a little bit more about some of the other programs and okay. maybe how Ottoman society is funded. Okay.
Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage. But you can pay too much. But at ICANN, we work for you. We shop all the private and government plans available, dozens of plans, to find the plan that best suits you and your family's needs at historically low prices. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualify for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. It takes the mystery out of comparison price shopping for prescription medicine, giving you the power to instantly find the pharmacy with the lowest price and save possibly hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single year. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN. Get covered. Save money. Please call 800-345-7585. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all. From color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. We, we finished our, our new building on Oslo Road next to the Oslo Riverfront Conservation Area next to the University of Florida. And okay. what we're really excited about this fall, starting in, uh, in the last week of September, running throughout the whole school year, year we're going to have an after-school program for fifth graders oh, for four of our uh, Title I schools in South County. Uh -huh. We're going to be, uh, they'll be coming out on a weekly basis, each student. Uh, we'll be uh, picking them up, taking them d down to, to our, our building, and then uh, getting them out into nature, into, in kayaks, and uh, walking around the various areas there, learning about the habitats and things like that. Another project that we have that's been going on for the last three years is our square foot gardening. These are four foot square uh, gardens that we've been putting into mm -hmm. the elementary schools. We've, uh, put 90 gardens in 13 schools, and it's been very successful. Our kids are learning how to grow vegetables. They now know that that's just, they just don't come from Publix, you know. <laughs> so uh, that program has been very successful. We're actually looking for volunteers to help us with that if they could. We are continuing our, our ORCA volunteer stewardship program, too. We've been doing it for 18 years, training uh, people to uh, look after our conservation areas in our county. And we'll be continuing that in the next class that starts in January. We also have a quality of life indicator project that Graham Cox, uh, Graham Cox is, is working on. And we're concentrating on in Gifford and Felsmere, working with them to come up with indicators, both economic, social, and environmental, that we can show if we're making progress and improving. And we're getting a lot of collaboration from those folks in this mm -hmm. particular project. Mm -hmm. Then we have citizen science scientists where we are looking at the scrub jay populations, eagles, and more recently we're going to start looking at uh, spoonbills. Right. Then of course we do meetings and have field trips. We have terrific field trips and uh -huh. people join us uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. You asked about funding. Uh, we, it, we need it. We get our funding through membership uh, okay. and, uh, it's, and it's all local. We don't, we get very little support from uh, national as most organizations find out. Mm -hmm. uh, but we get a lot of uh, donations, too. So and membership is really important. Yeah, we have about 900, 950 members. So we're quite a, that's a great. decent uh, How does one become a member? Oh, that's quite easy. You can. <laughs> <laughs> OK, tell us. <laughs> you can uh, call our office, and, uh, and uh, we'll make sure that you, or you get our website, uh, pelicanislandaudubon.org. Uh -huh. uh, or you can come to our meetings and become a okay. member. Uh, we're, we're, it's twenty dollars for an individual and thirty dollars for family. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the meetings I um, uh, are always listed and, and advertised in uh, the Cultural Connection. The yes, Culture you do. A, you do a Council. wonderful job there. When we appreciate that very much. <laughs> it's sometimes hard to get the word out to the community and uh, people do read your uh, half-page section there uh, well, once your, a week. Well, your, your mention a lot in it, but 
the, some of the benefits of the membership. I mean, why why would one join other than their, their love of? Well, we have a newsletter that's pretty informative. <laughs> We also, uh, our meetings, meetings, we have excellent uh, speakers coming and we have meetings in Sebastian, uh, monthly meetings in Sebastian, uh, Vero Beach, and we're going to be having one at the River House, uh, third meeting a month now too, okay. for the general public. When we come back though, we have to take a quick break, but when we come back, um, I want to learn more about the, the membership and volunteers. Okay. <laughs> Attention, this important message is for any American who's about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nations Helpline has Medicare supplement insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare supplement insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nations Helpline Medicare Supplement Team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. We can also help you find the right Medicare supplement policy from the best insurance companies around. So if you or someone you know is about to turn 65 years or older, call Nations Helpline today. Don't spend more than you have to on Medicare supplement insurance. Call Nations Helpline today and find out how easy it is to protect the ones you love. Even if you already have Medicare, this is a program for you. The call and quote is free and there are no obligations. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. That is 800-632-2804. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. But at ICANN, we work for you. We shop all the private and government plans available, dozens of plans to find the plan that best suits you and your family's needs at historically low prices. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. It takes the mystery out of comparison price shopping for prescription medicine, giving you the power to instantly find the pharmacy with the lowest price and save possibly hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single year. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Please call 800-345-7585. I'm back with Dr. Baker again, and uh, we're going to talk about volunteers. I'm sure after what you've heard now, some of you may want to join. Yes, we, we would like to invite everybody. One of the great things of being a member of Audubon is that you are working, or you're a, a, a partner, <laughs> or you are, you're working with people with like-minded interests. They're interested in preserving the environment, uh, educating in the environment and advocating for the environment. So you get the same kind of cadre of people and, and it's in getting a large number of people where you can somewhat be successful. Not one person or two persons can do mm -hmm. the whole thing. And so we encourage the volunteers, both adults and, and kids. Uh, kids from, the high, from some of the grade schools come out and help us get rid of some of the exotic plants that we have this year. Uh, uh, we had kids coming and picking up the bobles from the air potato, for instance. Mm -hmm. And we have, a, we have a lot of exotics where people, volunteers can help. And we're trying to expand out and help uh, throughout all the county conservation areas. Actually, the county only has one or two people looking after the conservation oh, areas. so you are really so helping. We, so we, uh, we really provide a, a, a good service for the, for the community in that regard. The strategic goal of PIAS includes building a nature center called the Audubon House on or near the county conservation area or a national wildlife refuge, both along the Indian River Lagoon. Audubon House will be a resource and a base for training, and nat for training naturalists, hosting visitors, and reaching out, providing stewardship, and educating the public about conservation issues. Tell us more about your plans for the Audubon community and the actions that you have planned to I'm meet. I mentioned some of them, I think our after school activity, uh, it's important to, uh, to get the kids uh, on track, uh, being able to get outdoors. And so we're going to be offering this after school activity. We're going to be picking out the, some of the, the people that have uh, from lower income people but are really bright kids. Mm -hmm. And we want th to uh, sort of get them experienced with the outdoors 
and uh, and having our our building in, in surrounded by a 440 acre conservation area with about six or seven different types of habitat along the lagoon is just the perfect setting for this. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, we also are going to be trying to improve the signage at our conservation areas mm -hmm. and putting it. Uh, last, uh, two years ago, we put in what they call QR codes yes, I know. on signs. Mm -hmm. And this is where uh, people with smartphones can go and, and scan the uh, sign or the code on the sign and can get a total, uh, uh, get a video or a PowerPoint presentation just for like two minutes or something covering the area. These are actually easy, they uh, somewhat difficult to produce. I mean, it takes them a little time, but uh, they're relatively inexpensive, the signs. And so we're looking forward and think that will help us. We also have a good library, and this is, allows people to come in and visit our library. Mm -hmm. and work with that so mm -hmm. so you've got a lot of things and uh, plans and um, I went out to when we when you had your QR code signs I went out for the, uh, the, oh, yes. the announcement of that and that's pretty exciting to uh, right. be in the uh, at the wildlife yeah, we, we were so happy to do that and uh, mm -hmm. we, we get we, we were able to bring in experts like uh, uh, various people, uh, mosquito control folks, describing uh, uh, RIM, and Dr. Grant Gilmore could talk about fish. Mm -hmm. We had in fishermen there, you know, all telling about the history okay. of the place and so forth. And now we're going to take another quick break, but when we come back, we're going to learn about who is Dr. Baker. Uh. <laughs> Advertise your business on Buzz TV. Email buzztvnetwork at gmail.com or call 772-777-1382. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. But at ICANN, we work for you. We shop all the private and government plans available, dozens of plans, to find the plan that best suits you and your family's needs at historically low prices. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. It takes the mystery out of comparison price shopping for prescription medicine, giving you the power to instantly find the pharmacy with the lowest price and save possibly hundreds and hundreds of dollars every single year. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN. Get covered. Save money. Please call 800-345-7585. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare supplement insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare supplement insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. Freddie Wilfrick and Gregory Simpson invite you to Spotlight Indian River weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. Dr. Baker, we frequently see you writing and speaking about issues facing the Indian River Lagoon. 
What do you see as the biggest challenges facing the work of PS in the next few years? Well, I think what's facing uh, Indian River County and the Lagoon is really even global. Uh, we, uh, climate change, I think, is, is very critical. We're going to see uh, sea rises uh, enormously high in the next 10, 20 years. And uh, we've got to educate people what to do about that. And then uh, the, the health of the lagoon is certainly important. We need to get people off of septic tanks. This day and age, they're just really glorified outhouses. And uh, we need to cut back on our fertilizers, both in, in agriculture, but in uh, residential areas. We're probably cutting back on sod or grass. I think these are really critical issues. Um, I think we need to get uh, people to care about their environment, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why I think we're concentrating at, at Audubon on, on children. Children, uh, get them on the right, they're going to be our, our future scientists, our uh, congressmen, our politicians, our, uh, the people in our community, our leaders, and, uh, and they can actually educate their parents, I think. Yes. We've actually lost two generations here. Um, even the parents are scared to let their kids outside. So we need to get them outside so that they appreciate nature. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we've had people that didn't want to go to summer camp. Their parents were concerned that the kids would get sick, you know, out being in the lagoon and stuff. So, I mean, one person or two persons had some problems. One died, I guess, recently. And, uh, and you know, that scares a lot of people from getting out even more. So. Uh, and I don't think people realize the changes that are occurring, how dramatic they are going on. I do have kind of a quote here as about, you know, as, as written by, uh, we need to kind of stop uh, paving paradise. When I reflect on all this grand portion of our union, instead of being in a state of nature, it is now more or less covered with villages, farms, towns, that the woods are fast disappearing under the axe of the day and fire by night. When I see the surplus population of Europe coming to assist in the destruction of forest, the transplanting civilization into its darkest resources. When I remember that these extraordinary changes have all taken place in a short period of 20 years, I pause, mm -hmm. wonder, and although I know it to be a fact and scar scarcely believe it's reality. This was written by James, uh, John James Audubon in 1830. Oh my goodness. Uh, 185 years ago, he was concerned <laughs> about all our, our uh, covering up all the nature that was out there. And, uh -huh. I, and people come here for a very short period, 10 years. Uh, maybe they're here 20 years. And even in, in a 20 year period, you can see the changes that are occurring here. So I think we need to really think about our environment more, uh, get people outside. And that's something that we're trying to do with, with Audubon. Well, we thank you for that, and thank you, Dr. Richard Baker, President of the Pelican Island Audubon Society, for, taking, for talking with us today. And thank you, viewers, for watching Arts in Depth, presented by the Cultural Council of Indian River County. Freddie Wilfrick and Gregory Simpson invite you to Spotlight Indian River, weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30. Bzzz.